I mean, be real. That's where you meet God is in the realness of what comes out of your mouth. The truth that comes out of your heart. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The more real, the more honest, the more the, the more you pour your heart out to God, the more sincere and genuine you are with the things you say to him and express to him and you do, the quicker your victories will come, the quicker revelations will come, the quicker blessings will come, the quicker manifestations of God's presence will enter into your life the more evidence you'll see of God working for your behalf or working on your behalf. Yeah, you'll see a lot more of God working in your life the more truth you bestow on him. The truth about the good, the bad, and the ugly in you. You have an issue with somebody, you've had a long time trying to forgive them, tell them. Tell them if you don't want to forgive them, tell them that too. But after you say what you don't want to do, ask God to give you the ability, and you will. It's all about, it. it oh, I don't know how to say this. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay. When I get up, okay, you're going to see part of me now. So, But when I get up, I walk away. When I come back, I sit down in this chair. When I sit down in this chair, everything is resting in this chair. Everything. Especially if I kick back and recline. Everything is resting in this chair. That's the way we need to rest in God's care for us. I am depending on this chair not to fall apart under all my weight. I am depending on this chair not to disintegrate out from under me. I'm depending on this chair not to collapse. Now, when you rest and trust in God, see, a lot of us don't realize we walk in faith every day. But we walk in faith in things. You sit on a chair, you assume through faith that it's going to hold you. It's going to stay together while you're sitting in it. You turn the water on in the kitchen, you're doing it by faith. You expect, you hold the glass under the faucet because you expect the water to fill that glass. You expect water to manifest. When you go to the restroom and you pull that lever, you expect the lever to flush the toilet and away goes troubles down the drain. You expect it. Now, this is what I'm asking you. What do you expect from God? 